This is Chelsea's blood the day she presented to be put to sleep. The green squished cells are actually her red blood cells. Normal red blood cells are nice round plump cells that float in the fluid of the blood. Their job is to pick up oxygen and nutrients, deliver them to the tissues, and then pick up the waste product from the tissues and cells and deliver them out through the lungs and the kidneys. As we can see from Chelsea's blood, her blood cells are anything but round. They're squished, they're unable to use their surface area to effectively go through metabolism, so they're not delivering much oxygen or much nutrients, and they're certainly not picking up much waste material and getting it out of the body. So that's one of the reasons why Chelsea had become so toxic. Her red blood cells were functionally unable to do their job. Chelsea, like many cats, was being fed a highly processed cat kibble. The high carbohydrate in the kibble is one of the reasons why she had so much yeast overgrowth in her blood. The yeast is that white granular looking material that you see on the right of the screen. Cats are obligate carnivores. Biologically speaking, they were designed to eat mice and rabbits. Being animals that originated from the desert, they were adapted to a low water environment, which meant that they got most of their water from their prey, their prey being made up of 70% water. One of the most harmful diets that we can feed a cat is a kibble diet for several reasons. First, there are no live enzymes in the food to aid in digestion. Secondly, the diets are deficient in water. And thirdly, these diets are very high in carbohydrates. This deadly combination leads to obesity, leaky gut, inflammation, and diseases like kidney disease and cancer. In addition to rehydrating Chelsea, she was put on a raw diet with digestive enzymes and probiotics. In less than 24 hours, we began to see a dramatic improvement in Chelsea's health. The massive amount of yeast that we see in Chelsea's blood was contributing to her inflammation and her deterioration. This is Chelsea's blood just three weeks after beginning a raw food diet with enzymes and probiotics. And though her cells aren't perfect, they are markedly better. In many areas, we can see individual red blood cells, and in the areas where we still see them in clumps, they're at least round and partially separated from each other. We can also see that there is a dramatic reduction in the amount of yeast that's in her blood. Eating a 95% meat diet with additional enzymes and probiotic was effective in reducing the yeast overgrowth. The clinical changes in Chelsea were as dramatic as the live blood cell changes. She began to eat better, she began to gain weight, she started playing with the other cats in the household, and literally became a young cat again. One week later, we repeated the live blood analysis, and we can see that not only are the cells getting better and better, but we also noted that there was a dramatic reduction in the yeast overgrowth. We could hardly find any yeast in her blood on this visit. This side-by-side -side demonstration of Chelsea's live blood clearly makes her the poster child Four, you are what you eat.